Good evening, my vacuum cleaner chums. Happy Christmas Eve. I just got all the presents out for the children who are in bed, their stockings full, watching a bit of Monty Python. However, I thought, being Christmas Eve, I should have a bash at doing some sort of festive video. So the old blue folders are out, as is a nice bottle of Cloud Water Session IPA. We won't be on a session tonight, but I'm thirsty. So, I believe yesterday, or whatever it was, I've got no children tonight. He's upstairs. That's the baby one of says otherwise. We shall carry on. Now, one thing I wanted to do was have another look at the pneumatics. Because that is what the most interest has been from so far and always one for popularity I thought I'd give it a go so you see that you see me on of Henry I think it was these the line drawings from and it took me ages to work this out because I hadn't actually looked at that closely RGK UK limited and that would have been where I got these from I would have got these from their website Turn the flash on, see if that helps. And I don't know if they're still available. They might be. I might have a look, because it'd be nice to get some better quality ones of these, because whatever I printed it out, I must have been quite low on ink. I don't think it was toner. So, we have a James. Don't know how old these are. Looking at that floor tool, that's before the long neck, while it was still quite long. Before body coloured rear wheels, and obviously 1100 watts, this is way before the old EU energy rating. Look, here's Charles, that dates Charles due to the type of head. It hasn't got the, I'm going to say vertical because it's not horizontal like that. It has a different head and of course the non-body coloured rear. Now this one's showing a single pedal floor tool and the old style small tools, but obviously... That could mean anything. Oh, and here's, I used to love these when I was a kid. And I know many of you do now from what you said. In your lovely comments. Oh, that's nice. That's nice beer. Sorry, I'm very thirsty. So here we have the nice line drawing of Charles there. So I used to like these when I was a kid. Because they are very nice. What else have we got? This is a seven. I can't really read that, but it's one of those. One of the old commercial ones. Again, old because it has the block style. The block style solid color writing. We have a CT900 here, one of the big shampooers. Never had one of those. Have you ever seen one of those? There you go. The CT900 CTD902. All the different colours that they came with. Again, RGK. CT570 there. I'm just going to go through these because people are interested. If I can't find the originals that these would have come with, I have another look on RGK's website just in case. But obviously, if they've had a refresh, this might be the only copy. So I'll have to scan them in. They'll just look a bit rubbish. What else have we got? Ah, Nuvac. Nuvac. Somebody asked me about the Nuvac ones, and here we go. I have a Nuvac somewhere. A friend of mine has it at the minute. I got it, acquired it somewhere on the way. Okay, look. That's, that's going to be very rare. The turbo brush for the Nuvac. And it's also a clean sheet of paper and 30 years of experience. You don't see many new vacs around, badgers new vac. You certainly don't really see them in the different colours. I suppose they, they cost do they cost more than a Henry or the same as a Henry? Either way, I was going to spend more than a Henry on a machine that is the same as a Henry, are they? Let's be honest. Here's the Turbo Care. Again, with the very rare head. Um, electro pole looks like that's going to that whatever that little chap is 
I'm rubbish on the magic numbers, I'm sorry. The new extracto pack system. Never seen one of those in the flesh again. That shows its age. Look, there's a woman doing DIY. <gasps> da, da, da. I'm going to get killed for that. But it's Christmas. I don't care. NRV 200. She's just a bigger Henry, really, isn't it? George, old George. The middle of the range one. GVE 370. There we go. They're not duplexed. And that is those. So, okay, I'll get to the scanning if I can't find the originals anyway. I might have saved them, but I don't know. If it was a while ago, I probably didn't. So they've used to be quite this anal about saving all my scans and making sure it's all available. Right. Dyson. Dyson, Dyson, beer, Dyson. A lot of these came from either me writing to Dyson back when they used to send stuff like this out, and somebody on Autoshite who collects just paperwork in general got a load of these in with some other bits and pieces and sent them to me, which is very nice. And so we have. The Digital Slim DC35 brochure. I think I scanned these in. They're still quite new, are they? I'm always rubbish with are things new or not. People always tell me, no, they're old, you're old. So here we go, look, this is a nice little fold out. I won't call it a centre fold because that's an insult to women with nice boobies. But there we go, look, a little fold out page with everything that the DC35 would have come with. Concentrated technology. And this that is dated twenty seventh of January twenty eleven. We have the Dyson Groom brochure. I've not had a groom yet. I don't have a pet to use a groom on, so it's a little bit pointless. Roger's done a lovely video of it on Molly or Daisy or both. I can't quite remember. So there we go, nothing too detailed in there. That's dated 26th of January 2011 as well. What have we got here then? The DC24 and the DC25. New technology. Look, there's one of Dyson's typical CGI rubbish pictures. Next to a lovely Dyson DC25. No, 24, my mistake. This isn't that detailed, it is literally just showing, you know, I, I never notice that when I use an older machine. I can't say I ever notice it. I notice these creaking about, there we go, look like a very nice DC24, exciting, let me turn the flash off. Might be able to read it just a little bit better. Bigging up the technology there, of course. This would have been when they were new and worth something, we all know now that you can pick these up for free with the issues that they have. Is progress, isn't it? So there we go. DC24 all floors, 25 all floors and animal. That is from oh, that's 2009. There, 21st of July, 2000. Oh, it's not going to focus. You know the date. What else have we got? Oh blimey, this is a big one. We might have to skip some of this. This is vacuum cleaners and accessories from Comet. Comet here. There he is, Mr. Smug. As people know him. Let me see if I put that down, if I can hold it up. Oh, focus. Yeah. So, what have we got in here? How do we date this? I don't recognise that cyclone. Dyson are built to last. No, no loss of suction, apart from when the filters crap themselves. DC, what? All Dyson vacuums have model numbers. They do. Shame not lots of people know about them. The amount of messages I go saying, my Dyson animal doesn't work. And I ask them for the model number. They go, what model number? Now I've got some Dysol spray and it is rubbish. FYI. Still none the wiser as to what the models are on this, I'll be honest. Ah, here we go, 33... I recognise the 33, 
40. Not had a DC 40 yet. They are cheap as well. Just not have been cheap locally enough to me. Same with the 41. I know Tayab's room has had 40s and 41s briefly before we sold them. I think he sold them. Tayab, we've still got any. What else have we got? The 19 T2. I've had a free DC 19 actually. I did a I did a thread on it. DC 26. I had a very battered 26 as well that I swapped with another collector for a Hoover Turbo Power Boost. I think I got the better deal somehow. This is when the cylinders started to have balls. Well, not balls. Big rear wheels, as I like to call them. There's the 38 and 39 there. You have to pause if you want to look at these in any great detail. Cordless. What era of cordless vacuum is this? DC 30. There we go. Portable Dyson. That's a big house there, look. With a mini one. Horrible little car. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. 34, 34 animal. This is more difficult than it looks to show you these in any sort of meaningful sense. There's the 35. I hope you don't watch this tonight. I, mean, I don't want to ruin your Christmas or anything. What have we got here? The turbo tool. I've had one of those turbo tools. They're not great. Handheld tools. Not had one of the little brushes. There's a load of eBay actually. 40 quid for 70 of them of those. I think they're pattern there. All the other accessories that you could get, I presume, from Comet. Exclusively from Comet. Ah, oh, here's the air multiplier. Yeah. AMO2 and AMO3. The Dyson Hot. And there we go. And that is 2011. Oh, there's a lot of these, isn't there? Another Digital Slim one. Forget conventional cleaning. Dyson Digital Slim. Oh, this is... Oh, I've got to put my phone down. Hang on. So this is a... DL fold out for the DC 44 animal. There we go. And on the back we have, oh no, and 35 and 34. Pause that for a second there while I drink some beer. And that is from September 2012. Might have been 24, 25. That came out in September 2012. Right. More stuff from Curry's this time, not Comet. Mr. Smug Lucky Bastard again. Why vacuums lose suction? Because people don't change the filters or the bags when they should. Especially those sort of bags. They're fine. I've bricked my meter up before with those bags and it is perfectly fine. But what do we know, eh? For 175 pounds over five years. I don't know if I'm not representative of the average consumer. Remember, a ten of a year for a box of five meal of bags does me. In fact, all we have to have the last one until February, March. But when did real life ever get in the way of good marketing? There you go, 33, 24, 25. Got to skim up a bit now because we're on 30 minutes already. There's the 33 there. The new way to turn corners. Right up until your brush roll motor dies. There we go. Look, there's the Dyson ball. Looking very shiny as they do before you use them for five minutes. There's the 25. There you go again. There's the 19, 26, 22 and 32. They're not in order, look. Shoddy. Shoddy, shoddy. Oh, this is massive. Right, 19 again. 19T2. 26, the little city one. They are the pain to get the motor out of. It's a dirt there. I haven't hoovered. I haven't vacuumed today. I don't intend to tomorrow either. There's a 22. 32. I think I've had a 32 in for a refurb. There's the digital handheld Duda. Doesn't say what number. There's a DC30. There's a DC31. 
and I presume this is going to launch into the tools. Yes, it is. There we go. We've seen that already. Ooh, what's this? Look, quick reference. Ooh, that shows you how you can cheap out by getting a Bogo model. There's the fans again, and that is 2010. Air multiplier. I don't want to go through the air multiplier. I'm sorry. Ah, these are the story of Dyson's. These would have come. That came from a DCO8. I know that much. That came in with this batch of stuff. This one is uh, 2001. Maybe it didn't come off in that way. I'm sure one of these came off in that way. And that is 2009. But they're basically identical. There's Mr. James with a uh, DCO4 there. So that's obviously not a very early picture, is it? Let's put that down and pop that there. There's a G-Force. A few people have got those now. Risk with the DCO1. I'm dating a DCO1 at the minute. It certainly is a risk. And then it goes all the way up to the present day. With the James Dyson Foundation. And this one I think differs. Well, should we see if it differs? Oh, there we go. There's a very older picture of him, look. With the ball barrow and the trolley ball and the wheel boat. Ah, there he is. Look, with his Hoover Junior. Would that be a U110? No. I'm useless at them. But there he is with the Hoover Junior. And then his G-Force again. DCO1 and a DCO2 here, look. And then when Route 12 came out. There's the DC-06. Somebody posted up on Manchester Vax about having one of those. That looks like a prototype DC-02. Ah, there's his famous washing machine. And next Petra. So there we go. What else have we got? I have a hot brochure. Again, not very interested in the hots. Only had them for completeness. Ah, here is a Focus, a DC-33 brochure. There we go, lots of, there you go, There's a vague timeline here, DC-01 was in 1993, obviously the DA-001 came before that, so let me sip my beer while you have a look at that. DC-03 in 1998 and the 04, 07, 14 and then finally the 33 in what, so this date's that then doesn't it, this is in 2010. I've had a few 33s now. They they start to become very cheap. And they're basically just a DCO4 in drag. So they're ever so cheap to refurbish and sell. And that is, yep, yeah, July 2010. A few more Dyson fan ones. The Dyson tools from Curry's. So there's the little horrible turbo tool. Not a fan of that one. Had one of those. The groom that I never had. The other various tools. That's a lovely tool. In fact, I have that now. In fact, I used that on my DCO one earlier. I got that in with the machine and I kept it because it is very handy for doing that flipping unit over there. So I keep that. Oh, didn't like that, did it? Crevice tool that makes the machine sound blocked. Zorb. Zorb will be coming up on my channel next year because I don't know if you remember that DC04 Zorbster motor that I got. Well, I still had a naffle with it. In fact, I think it's still in the back of the car. But I do have a tub of Zorb and a DC04 Zorbster and a hopper. So at some point next year, we need to use that, don't we? See if it's any good. It, it, it won't be, but we need to use it all the same. This is 2011. I guess it, oh blimey, another big one from Comet, which actually looks the same as the other one from Comet. Where's the Comet? How soon are they? That's December 2011, that's April 2011. I don't think there's going to be any difference at all, really. So I'm not going to go back through all that again. The little booklets on the handhelds, the digital motor there, look. Very nice. 31 animal. 
30 and 31. How to claim your free handheld too? Oh, too late. Damn. Ah, the Dyson City. Oh, there's a little fan hiding in there. Get out. Get another fake vacuum. They're not very nice, the 26 City, I'll be honest. I found mine. The hose was too short, so it tipped the machine up. I'm not a fan of the flat hat head as well. I'm going to cause chaos by saying that. When was that? That was 2010. Oh, something big. Right. This is one that I sent away for and got from Dyson. So this is literally when these were new. The DC-08. Do like DC-08s. They're good machines. More fake vacuums. Blurb. Oh, here we go. Look, here's a nice... Because they lift out, and you can split them as well to really give them a good clean, because obviously they all clog up with crap. That comes off as well. So that comes out, that comes out, that comes out, and apart, and you can really clean them up nicely. Not obviously what Mr. Dyson had in mind for when us repairers came along and sorted them out. There we go, look, there's a nice picture there. That's desktop background material, isn't it? Those heads are a pain to take apart. Ah, here's all the different ones, look. So you have a, the bog standard one, the Energy. The Carpet Pro Energy. Which I think just came with a turbo brush. The Animal, which would have come with a mini turbo brush. There's all the different turbo heads that you could get. And there it is being tested, look. Very exciting. That... Ooh, doesn't have a date on it. We can't date this one. Hey ho. Here's another one from the past, the DC-11. I'm really not a fan of it. Oh, blimey, this one opens up very oddly. So you open it up like that, and you get the same three pictures, because the 08 and the 11 are probably about the same age. So that would make sense. And then look, it shows you... How the very clunky, wobbly one comes out. The horrible to strip cyclone. Ooh, look at this. It's been a while since I've had this out. Let's give you an overall shot while I drink some beer and possibly sneeze. <coughs> That's me. I won't pause it. Everybody sneezes. There we go. All about the revolutionary DC-11 telescope. Show you about that. And then... Oh, that's just that anyway. So there we go. A nice fold-out. This one is actually quite recent. This came from eBay. And it is the 1999 Dyson product range. This is a lovely book. Because it's basically all about the 01, the 02 and the 03. So there we go. The 01 when the Antarctica Solo was out before they just made it blue. Which is very nice. So there's the... Standard one, the Dyson range, all featured dual cyclone technology. There's some lovely imagery in this. I think this is scanned in as well. And we can play which DCO ones have I got? So I've got an absolute. Don't have any DCO twos. I did have a standard one, but I I sold that. Don't have a DCO three anymore either. I've got that floor tool, but in the distilled version. In fact, we'll see that further on. But here we go. There's how the motor sits in an O1. And that's how the suction channel works. Etc. If you're that interested, there's the DCO2. It's all fairly self explanatory, really, isn't it? But it's a lovely book. It didn't cost me that much. Oh, I look back when you could buy the tools that are £6. They're always expensive, do so three filters, they still bloody are. They're still about 20 quid now. DCO2 and DCO3 clear. I've had an O3 clear. 
Manchester Vax have that now in their museum. Well, if I wasn't that clear, I think that's a bit photoshopped. I've not had it. Actually, I have had a DCO2 clear, but it was a wreck. So I broke it up for spares. And again, it wasn't that clear either, but here we go. Look, here's the tools. Bet people would love to be able to buy the tools for that cost now. Bet they would love to. Here's all the other tools. <coughs> Varying colours and shapes and sizes. There's the standard ones. Basically the same, just the DCO one has the adapter look. So there we go. The three generations of tools, the Wessel Work style one, the flat style one and the more common style one. The two I've never had a turbo brush of that age. So I don't know if they're crap or not. DCO one parts look. How to tell which brush roll you need. The base plates, I wish they are very expensive to buy. Even in rubbish condition of the DCL base plates. But look, they all used to be 15 quid, whether they were pivoting or non pivoting. Look at that. Wands! Wands, wands, wands. 25 quid for a brand new wand. £20 for the hose. DCO2 ones are a bit more. Look, that is the Antarctica Solo DCO2. I bet people wish they could buy them for 19 quid now. Filters. Various filters. DCO1 and DCO2. The bins. And you can buy a whole new bin assembly for 25 quid. Here's some various books. I'd like to get a copy of that. One was on eBay earlier on this year. And it wasn't a lot, but it was more than I had. Like, well, more than I felt justified buying. I've got against the odd. That came from the car, but it's, uh, it's an alright read. The Zorb. Look, that's a very early Zorb box. Buy one looks so much different to that. That's always, that's very early DCO one that is. Okay, we'll be, we'll be touching Zorb this year, hopefully. The instruction manuals, two pounds each. The life cycle of a Dyson. So, I don't know where it starts, really. Mm. Uh, the last word. Mr. Smug, I'll do that, and then you can pause it. And then an order form, so you can order whatever you like. And post it off to Malmesbury with a price figure for everything. So there we go, that's how much parts cost in 1999 from Dyson. There we go. Well, half an hour just for those two little piles and I've only drank half my beer. I think we shall leave that there. And on part three, we shall start with the instruction manuals. There'll be lots more as well, because apart as well as the instruction manuals, there's stuff up in the loft that I need to get out. Only if you're interested, of course. If you're not interested, tell me and we'll talk about something else. But until then, have a very Merry Christmas. Treat this as my Christmas video. It's very boring. I'm sorry. I'm not the most exciting collector. This YouTube thing is a bit new to me. But... We get there, and like I say, I do have some machines coming. It's difficult with children. I don't know how Ibasiac does it. I know how some of the younger collectors do it because the incredible handiness of living at home with nothing to worry about and all the time in the world. So, thank you very much for watching. We shall see about part three. It won't be tonight, though. I'm going to bed. The children get up in the morning to open up all this. Oh my god, I hope there's lots of messy stuff in there that I can vacuum. We'll see. So, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>